Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this video is take a look at the planar finish machining operation. In this example, I want to apply the toolpath to that surface right there. First thing we need to do is create a boundary. So I'm going to head over to the Command Manager, let's go into Model Tools, Extract Surface Edges, and that orange geometry, let's try that first. That looks fine. Alright, so let's head over to the Command Manager, select our Model Toolpaths and our Planar Finish command. I'm using a half inch diameter ball end mill here. I think that looks fine, 50,000 step over. But I do want to point out that for boundary type, I'm using none. What does that mean? Well, none means that the very center of the tool is going to drive itself along the edge of the boundary. Okay, so let's do that. Let's click finish and let one CNC generate the tool path. Now you'll notice that because there's an adjoining or adjacent surface that's vertical, that toolpath has moved up along Z. Let me show you why. Pretend that this half inch circle is the diameter of the ball end mill. Now if I move it along the edge of the boundary, notice how it picks up the edge of that vertical surface. You can see that in the green there. So what we need to do is create new geometry for a new boundary. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this edge. So let's select it. That looks good. We'll delete that out. Now let's extract some new geometry. I'm going to use Extract Edge and left click. That looks good. Now I want to offset this, the radius of the tool, plus just a little bit. So I'm going to offset this 251 thousandths. Okay, let's go ahead and left click that. That looks good. And there we go. All right, so that edge is 251 thousandths away from the other edge. So it's essentially just one thou bigger than the radius of the tool that we're using. Let's project everything flat. I'm going to select by color all the orange geometry. Back into our model tools and let's use our project command. Let's just project everything flat to the current construction plane. Now as a shortcut, we can hit control T on the keyboard to go into trim mode. That way I can just left click and left click, left click and left click. So now let's use that boundary. I'm going to right hand mouse click, select repick path. I'm going to leave all the original parameters exactly the same. But what we'll do here now is we're going to repick our boundary with a left click and right hand mouse click. And there you go. There's a much better toolpath now just by changing our boundary. So if we take a look at the preview toolpath, that's much more efficient. So the key there is to make a boundary that's offset from that vertical face just a little bit bigger than the radius of the tool. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.